All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex. And I'm Richard. And today, uh, we got a video for you guys. Christmas is coming up. Oh, yeah. And what if you need a last-minute gift for the gun guy or gun girl in your life? Yeah. Let's get straight into it. And we're going to show you what we think are some good picks for and Christmas gifts. And we're also going to rate them. We're going to give it a one to five star rating. Well, actually, one to five bullet rating. There we go. Five bullets being the best, one being eh, not so great. Yeah, what what five bullets? Let's say 22. Yeah. Nine millimeter. Okay. 45. 45. Yeah. 44 Magnum. That's got to be the top one. Right. 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 What, let's do 380 then. 22, 380, nine millimeter. What was the other one? 45 and 44? Yeah, 44 Magnum. All right. Let's see so, what gets that 44 Magnum. Let's 20, do it. 22 being the lowest, 44 Magnum being the highest, obviously. Yeah, well, let's get into these gifts and let's rate them. All right, so, okay. all right, y'all. First and foremost, we just want to say we're not sponsored. So we're just going through these lists. Uh, we're on Amazon today. Only thing we're doing is typing up gun gifts and we're going to go through a list. Don't know how many we're going to go through today, but of course, we're going to uh, rate them. From 22 to 44 Magnum, 44 Magnum being the best, 22 being the worst. Let's get it. First one we got, Wild Shot Deluxe Gun Cleaning Kit in palette, a patented bullet-shaped case. Yeah. Cleaning kit. So, uh, I think this is a pretty good idea for someone in your life that has like a room mm -hmm. of uh, guns. Because you can put this up on display, or if you just like it, you can put it up for display anywhere. Plus, it serves that double feature as a cleaning kit. Definitely looks super cool. Definitely, if you got like a gun safe and you have space, it just looks cooler than a gun safe or yeah. like you said, like a just an area that you use your guns and stuff. Definitely really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this one first. Uh, now, now we need to go over the price real quick. I think it's forty dollars. Yeah, that's gonna be part of it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, forty dollars. It cleans everything. It has everything you need. Honestly. I'm gonna go flat in the middle at a nine millimeter and I'm gonna explain why. So there's a lot of, uh, what you're really paying for is the, sh the look yeah. of the casing. There's a lot of gun kits that you can get for way cheaper than $40 and it's gonna do the same thing. Yeah, so for me personally, I would vote it as a 380, um, lower on the list. So that's a two out of five if y'all don't know. Yeah, and uh, only because a lot of gun guys already have cleaning kits. Mm -hmm. So unless they're new to guns, they're gonna already have stuff that they trust and they love. So if if they already have one and they, they love it, that's awesome. But I, I do think this is a good gift. Like I would not be disappointed. So, like I said, that's why I rated it nine millimeter right in mm -hmm. the middle because the thought the thought is awesome. Yeah, it's the a thought's bullet. awesome. It's a bullet, you know? Right. And so it, not to, even if you already have your own stuff, I mean, even if you replace it, like, yeah. It's still amazing. Yeah. You can't never have too much stuff to clean. You, honestly. I agree. Yeah. So definitely, I got. I gave that one a nine mil. He gave that one a three eighty. On to the next one. All right. Next up on the list, we got a novelty ceramic coffee mug. It's a gun mug, pistol on one side. So guys, I actually have this. <laughs> um, it's a pretty cool little gift. It gives you a little nice way to drink your coffee or your tea or whatever you want to drink out of it. Um, you know, Phil's gun, obviously, bad trigger control, right? Yep. Number one thing, you want to put your finger right there. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, though, it's a cool gift. It's just like a, like if someone collects coffee mugs especially, um, I think this is a good gift. So price-wise, $13.88. Pretty decent price, yeah. I'd say. Uh, a little bit for me, on my opinion, it's on the upper side, but also you're paying for with the look of it, so it's understandable. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it first again. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine millimeter, um, which is a three out of five to y'all. I think it's a really good uh, gift, really cheap. Honestly, you kind of can't go wrong with it. Um, yeah. It, it's, but it's just not one of those. My thing is typically people that drinks coffee has so many mugs already typically. So, I mean, I guess getting it for a gun person, if we're thinking about the thought of a gift, is a really, right. good, gift. really good gift. And it, so I know this is not part of it, but obviously this one's pretty plain on both sides. Yeah. You can put anything. If they if they have a company, put their logo. If Of course, it's going to add a little bit to that. So I, I agree. Nine mil is a pretty good place to put this <laughs> gift. Look at him double finger in that grip. <laughs> <laughs> See? Um, bad triggering control. So that's, that's one of the reasons it's not higher on the list. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Would you get it? A nine. 
Nine, okay, okay. Yeah, right. right in the middle. So we're at nine millimeter. And definitely let us know what y'all think below uh, in the comments if y'all think we're just stupid and you know you would rate it higher or we're thinking too hard. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. On to the next one. All right, y'all. Next, we have a whiskey decanter bottle and bullet shot glass. Uh, so it has whiskey, whiskey glasses. Uh, it's basically a whiskey vodka bourbon clear sip. That's right. You pour your favorite whiskey in here, comes empty, and then you have two shot glasses with bullets halfway through them, which is really, really cool. To I'm me. not going to lie. This is fire. I don't drink, but for my dad. Yeah. And, ag gift. and again, if you don't drink, you can fill this up, uh, with whatever type of liquid you want. Mm -hmm. Um, say just like, uh, colored water. You can do that, and it looks pretty cool. Right. Uh -huh. if you do, I do want to say, if you're doing anything other than whiskey, it's a pointless gift. <laughs> if you're drinking Kool-Aid out of this. <laughs> I don't think anybody would drink stuff in it. Uh, that, like, that's not going to use it for whiskey, but I do think... Um, it has more than a drinking right. factor. Right. Right. So I don't drink a ton, but I would definitely set this out if someone yeah. got it for me. I think this is a really cool... Uh, $35.95, a little bit on the, in my opinion, expensive side, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a 45. Honestly, really like it. Uh, I really like the shot glasses with the bullets. I think it add character. And for a real drinker, it's just a, a great gift, honestly. Yeah. I, I'm going to, if, if you have someone that's into guns and that enjoys, you know, a cold one after work or something, this could be a 44 mag for me. Oh, really that um, high now that it could be for me okay. personally it would be like a 45 i okay. think you hit it right on I'll the head with 40, that i think a 45 would be good for that um but there is a these things are expensive i got uh one of my buddies one who's real into um drinking yeah uh or not he's not like an alcoholic or anything but he just likes to you your alcoholic friend <laughs> out. Okay. he just likes to have a bunch of uh different cool stuff now i didn't get him one and two guns because it's not that but it's like a globe and it twists and it's like about. turns the alcohol all the time it's right here and it, and it was it was expensive so honestly for this to this be, one right here is 70 no this 80 dollars right here right the one that you're talking about so uh, and I paid it, I think I paid like 120 for it, so I, I maybe I was dumb. Yeah, it's, it's, but this guy right here for 35.98, yeah, 35.95, I think that's a great price for great it. Great price, I like it. Yeah, let's go on to the next one. On to the next one. All right, so for this one, we have gun shirts as a whole. We just pulled up this example, just one more gun, I promise. I think that's a lie that it's gun people, that's what we like to tell ourselves. So this is actually a pretty good one at 17.99. Uh, gun shirts as a whole can be found from like $9.99 all the way up to like $30. Um, I think it's a pretty good gift. If it's So let me say this. I'm going to go ahead and rank it early. Yep. I know it's probably too early to rank it. It's 44 Magnum. I'm going to go ahead and let you know why it's a 5 out of 5. First and foremost, gun people love gun shirts. They always wear them no matter where they go. You can't go wrong with a shirt. Gun shirts are typically cheap. You can find them under $20. And actually, for you, for an example, you wear all your gun shirts. I do. So, I think a gun shirt, I mean, it doesn't matter how many gun shirts you have, you can't have enough because clothes is clothes. Gun people love guns. They're going to get more guns. They're going to get more shirts. Yeah. You can't go wrong with a gun shirt. For me, it's going to be a lot lower. I'm at, I'm at a nine mil for a gun shirt. If you yeah. get in the right size for the right person, it's going to be awesome. But um, you can't wear them everywhere. So, yeah, like, sure. to work. If you work any type of business, you're not wearing this to work. Yeah. Um, and then... But I'm pretty sure you're not wearing that... I'm pretty sure you're not wearing anything but uniform to work. It depends on some... Some people don't have uniforms. Right. So... But yeah, so it's just not that high up on the list for me. Mm -hmm. um, the price point, I mean, it's a pretty good price point. Again, it's uh, budget-minded for most people. And, and I think it's an awesome gift. I just got to rate it nine. Yeah. I, I definitely strongly disagree. I think you're thinking too hard. I think you need to remember it's the factor of a gift in the fact that a gun person is going to wear a gun shirt. And you might not be able to wear it anywhere, but they can't wear their other ones anywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's how I'm kind of thinking of it. I think the gift idea is good. If you're thinking about giving your loved one or whoever it is a gun shirt, get them one. 44 Magnum. <laughs> you heard it from me first. Great gift. Great gift. Let's go on to the next one. Sorry about this 9 millimeter guy. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, we have a 308 bullet authentic brass casing refillable twist pin as a gift. 
I really want to go ahead and rank it first, but I'm not going to be like that. Let's talk about it first. Yeah. It's a pin. It's a pin. Refillable pin. Yeah. And it and it comes with the box as but well. Have you noticed the box is like a pelican kind of case? I I, I know it's an ammo case and I know it's a bullet. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it because I'm tired of waiting. It's 22. It's a 22. 100. percent Really? It's a 22, man. I don't know, man. I, at first I was thinking that, but now that I see that it comes in its own little case. It's not something like I would use every day. That okay, that that's that's the problem, right? To me, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why. First of all, the has any person on the planet Earth ever used the same pen? Yeah. Till it like inked out. Yeah. You you need to get checked out. <laughs> you need to get checked out. I like, use that's, a, that's like okay. I, I use a pen all the time every day. Yeah. I keep pens. The the problem with this one, and I, I'm gonna rate it a three eighty. So just above okay, okay. what you did. A two out of five. Understood. But here's the thing. I'm going to lose this eventually if I use it. So I either have to put it in this little case and like display it. It looks like a collectible. Yeah, a little collectible. Item. Or I can use it and I'm I'm guaranteed to lose it. Maybe right. if, if your gun guy or girl will not lose this, it might rank higher. I think the quality is there, especially because they got different colors and it's only... Okay, never mind. It's so, so, so the only me, one that matters is this one. For me... It's twenty five dollars for a pin. That is really high. It's twenty five dollars for a pin. Yeah. You know, so th th that that's that's really where I I'm looking at. Like, okay, if you want to spend twenty five dollars on a pin that may or may not be used, may or may may not get lost because respectfully, once it's out the case, it's probably not gonna go back in the case. It's gonna go in the pocket. It, I don't. I don't think it's a good gift. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I don't think it's a good gift. I think it's a great thought process. Yeah. But. If it's not gonna be anything like just keeping it on the shelf or keeping it on a collectible item place shelf or something, mm -hmm. I think a gift. if I got this as a gift personally, I would be like, oh, okay, thanks. This is kind of cool. I'd play with it a little bit, be like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. And then I would be upset that I lost this. Dude, imagine like writing it and it's not one of the good writing. Oh, I know. If that was not a good it. pin for twenty five dollars. It better write and by listen, itself. Listen, listen. y'all take a look. It says, I hope I'm posting this at the right time because it says typical price is $35. We're just on holiday prices right now. So oh, it's 29% yeah. off. For $35? So that's a $35 pin. <laughs> Definitely not, man. Yeah. Definitely not. Right now it's holiday season, holiday time. So, yeah, but that's a no for me. All right, that's let's go on to the next one. All right, for this one, we got the Morris Torch Lighter. Um, it looks like a fold out gun lighter and if this thing works how i think it will for 13.99 me personally i'm gonna go ahead and rate it 44 mag okay that's that's five out of ten yeah i'm gonna go ahead and rate it a 45 okay that's because i love the idea i love, love the this. idea i love the flip out uh you may say this is biased for me right mm -hmm. and this is what i'm saying if i get this from my dad He'd love it. It'll be amazing. Even if I get it for myself, because I love like candles and stuff and incense, I love it. My dad loses lighters like crazy. Anybody who smokes loses lighters like crazy. That is true. So they're always going for another lighter, get another light. That's why they got a lot of cheap ones typically, mm -hmm. because they go through lighters. A normal person, probably like us that don't smoke and just, you know, lights candles and for normal usages of it, probably lighting the grill or something. Great gift. Yeah, candles. Honestly, even for a smoker. It's a great gift. They're but gonna lose lighters it. for if they're lighters. smoking, they'll probably lose it. Yeah. Um. But the I, idea. If you're work? if you're a gun guy though, this mm -hmm. is super cool. A gun yeah. that shoots flame, butane not included. But again, it's thirteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Just that price point for like the way it looks. I'm gonna zoom in so then, I can. Then it's freaking. <laughs> it says made in China, real big on it. <laughs> I thought it said something else, but uh, then it's refillable as well, so yeah. you can continue using it. Probably not the quality of like a Zippo lighter. Like I think that's a great gift, but maybe not for the gun guy. Um, for this though, I like I it. I really love the idea. Maybe if you could find a higher quality one for uh, even double the amount of money. Yeah, I think that would be great. But but as far as this one for the price point being fourteen dollars, amazing gift. I think in my opinion. Me too. Um, the, uh, I got. I gave it a four out of five. You gave it a five out of five. Yeah. I really do think. 
Because the price point, as y'all could tell, probably price point is a big thing with us. Yeah. So you know, choosing a high quality gift is is it means a lot. Yeah. With a nice with the price. Right. And it, and it may not be the highest quality. I mean, it does say made in China, huge on it. A lot of stuff, quality stuff comes out there. Uh, from this angle, looks amazing. When I zoom in on it, uh, yeah. maybe not as amazing. Obviously, this is how you turn the flame up and down. It flips instead of pulls the trigger. Now, if it pulled the trigger for that price, mm -hmm. I don't care if it never worked. Yeah. Ten out of ten for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's let's uh, let's go on to the next one. All right, y'all. Now we got the G45 pistol shaped keychain. It's the Glock 45, of course. Looks something like my bad boy right here. But this is a Glock 19. Just wanted to show y'all that it is clear. Um, so one thing I do want to say uh, is $15 for this pendant. And I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know how I'm showing it. You can literally cock it back and you can drop the mag as well. Yeah. Just it, like the real gun. And if you um, get them their exact carry pistol mm -hmm. that is an amazing that's gift cool. that's that cool. is probably so far in this list the best gift yep like if if someone got me a smith and wesson version of this which i'm sure they have the mag pops out the little i would use that i would put that on my keys i don't like i don't like to have a lot of stuff on my keys but for this everything or like just like the trailer key for my uh, trailer mm -hmm. hook it onto that i'd never lose it I, I love this gift. Like I want, I want this. Someone, someone buy this for me. Let me <laughs> and let me tell you another reason why I love this gift so much. As gun gun guys, mm -hmm. always love dropping the mag, playing with the gun. We're well, not supposed to, of course. We don't like dry firing it, but I mean, right. as far as you know, cocking it back, dropping the mag a lot. You know, that's what we do. Yep. Me personally, I'm a big fidgeter. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fidgeter. I got to keep something in my hands. I always like to. And that's why when I have a gun, I like to yeah, do this a lot, you know. This right here this is a perfect. safe fidget toy for an adult. Yep. Like I we, love that love guns. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. If someone got me uh this even the, even the even the G45, I'd be ecstatic. If they found my specific pistol or if they make revolvers, dude, I'm yeah, in love with this idea. Yeah. I love it for the price point. It's real good. So, uh only only bad thing, of course, uh, having your keys out in like a public area. I mean, I would say you get extra looks. But as far as the price and everything, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 44 Magnum. I think it's a great gift. Or I'll probably give it a 45. One of those. I'm, I'm 44 Magnum all the way with yeah. this thing. Just because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with this all the time if someone gives it I'm to me. I'm a big fidgeter. Like I said, I love it. Love the fact that it's actually, it's not just the look. So let's say it like this. I think if it was just the look, I'd probably give it a nine mil or a forty-five. Me too. Because it looks amazing. It's cool. Mm -hmm. It's my gun. I already got it. Perfect. But the fact that you can actually fidget with pop it, it back, pop drop it back, the mag, drop it back, throw the mag back in, right? You're playing with it all day. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. And and I can tell you what we'll give it a fifty cal. Um, if they make little bullets for it, that you can actually <laughs> yeah, put yeah, in yeah, there, yeah. that you actually load up and just shoot them. Fifty cal all day. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't, I'm sure that that's not possible. Not for $14.99. Maybe for something significantly yeah. more expensive. Right. But I, I'm in love with this. I like, love it. I can't tell you guys how much that mm -hmm. this one excited me. I think the 44 mag is going to be both of our votes for this. So that's yeah. five out of five. On to the next one. All right, guys. Next up, we got the toy gun with soft bullets. So this is... As far as I understand it, like a Nerf gun mm -hmm. that has actual uh, mags that you load up with pistol style like ammo. It's funny because we were just talking about this last. Yeah, I know. Um, but this is a full size toy. Right, right. So this is not like a keychain like the other one. But this one actually fires. It comes with a pair of safety glasses for $24, $23.99. And it's it's a deagle. It's a gold deagle. I love it. So you know, like internet uh, loves deagles. So this is amazing. Um, the fact that you actually get to play with it all day. You can set up cups. You got some like plastic cups in your house like this. Turn them upside down. Make a stock of them. Shoot them or whatever you got. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, honestly, with this one, it's kind of just like the fidget toy. 
you know, like I was talking about gun people love to play with their guns, being able to actually function a whole gun, being able to shoot out of it now, this time, yeah. and knowing too it won't damage anything or hurt anything. Right. It's just all for the fun sake and you still get the uh, physics and yeah. mechanics of a regular gun. Amazing. You, you don't want to shoot a you don't want to shoot a BB gun in your house. You don't want to yeah. shoot an airsoft gun or a right. paint gun in your house because obviously it's gonna destroy something. Yep. This thing shoots little soft bullets. Yep. I would love this. If someone got this for for me, I'd play with it all the day. I would set up stuff. I would like I mean, really gun guys I think are just like big kids. Yeah. We take gun stuff seriously, but something like this, it's a toy. Guns are gun, guns are our toys. Yeah. But this is a real toy. You can play with it all day. Um 44 Mag, again for me. I didn't think yeah. I was gonna find this many things that I loved. Yeah, me neither. I, I'm I'm not a big person on braiding stuff perfect, but for $24 Everything you get, I don't think you can go wrong with it, honestly, unless the gun doesn't function right and it, it's just messed up. That's a 44 Magnum for me as well. That's five out of five for another one. Yeah, I've seen this on um, like TikToks and Instagrams and stuff yeah. like that. I wanted one as soon as I seen it. I was just worried it was a scam, but now that I know Amazon sells yeah, it. Right. You, I'm you probably might, picking this it up. It probably sold it to you like Timu. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna probably pick this up for me just because I want it that badly. And uh, definitely uh, let us know if y'all got any of these in the comments below and let us know if they're actually like trash or we rated them right. Right, right. We want you guys to get engaged. I want to see what you would rate each gift. Like maybe we gave you something way too high or way too low or maybe yeah. you agree with Richard over me because we've had a lot of... Uh, Disagreements. Yeah. So, is that uh, right? Is that right word? Disagreements. We're going to make it one. We're going to put it yeah. on a shirt. Disagreements. <laughs> triggered easily. That's right. Trademark penny. <laughs> so no one else take it. All right. Let's go on to the next one. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I don't know if y'all ever looked this up on Amazon, but there's going to be a lot of shirts. There's going to be a lot of whiskey holders. There's going to be a lot of repeat stuff on Amazon. So we're taking our time to go through stuff. We don't want to do like repeat stuff. So that's probably why you don't see us going through certain gifts that's high ranked. Um, right now, we are on the uh, nightstand gun trade organizer. Um as you can see the image, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say it like this. I'm not a, okay, a lot of men, right? I'm going to just say this for men. A lot of men aren't really organized. Like me, me personally, I kind of like throw my Apple watch off, put it in the, the watch holder, and I just like put my gun up and my glasses, take everything off and put them in my area. Me, I'm not really big on organization. And I'm not saying I don't want to be, mm -hmm. but... If I had this on my stand, I feel like it's a little bit extra work to make all this happen. And I don't want also my gun to be just held on a holder. Okay. You get what I mean? So, so <clears throat> I'm, I'm taking a turn now. Um, I like to organize everything. Good. Uh, so it's a little bit different for me. Are you a man? Yeah. Okay, my bad. Um, <laughs> we respect genders around here. Um, here's a, here's the thing. Is this a lock on the gun? It's not on the gun. Okay. Um, here's the thing. You're never going to get to charge your Apple Watch if yes, you it hang is. it. Look. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm slowly getting into this. Go through some more images, man. It's got a place for your wallet, place for your knife. Oh, extra ammo? No way. Man, five extra bullets, bro. You, you instead of putting that knife there, you just put your mag there. Exactly, or on the front. And it comes with a coaster. Uh, every every night stand needs a coaster. Versus, look look at the, the images. This is all messy. Boom, cleaned. So I thought. For sure, I was gonna not like this because you couldn't charge your Apple Watch, but now that you can charge your Apple Watch, it looks to be wood. If it's real wood, I'm sure it's not for $30, but for 30 bucks, I don't know, man. This I, I That's crazy that you're liking this that much. When for I for $31, I'm like, man, you can you can throw this to the the road. I don't really care about this. When I when I first saw it, I did not like it. I thought this is gonna be dumb. Um, I'm never going to hang glasses off of it. Glasses live in the vehicle. You don't need glasses inside but, your house. Okay, this is. I think this is where the real question is going to be. But you have. Are you going to put your gun? Are you going to put your gun 
on this organizer. Because at, at the end of the day, if you're not going to put your gun on it, it's just an organizer and you can get a cheaper one that looks better. So, he, yeah. So, I already have a really awesome place to put my gun that's more secure than this. Mm -hmm. So, no. <laughs> okay. But. Okay, I'm just saying. If I had, uh, say that toy, 50 cal from earlier, <laughs> I would put that, I would put that, that would be where it lived. You know, I'd shoot yeah. stuff in my room. There's a purpose for this. I, I still don't love it, but I like it a whole lot more than I thought it was when we originally clicked the picture. My final choice, 380, the reason for it, I don't think it's a bad gift. I think it's a pretty good gift, but at the end of the day, it's just an organizer. Right. So I think the key factor is if you're going to put your gun on it, then that makes it a gun organizer. Yeah. If you're not going to put your gun on this stand, then it's just kind of pointless for you to buy a gun one when you're just going to use it as an organizer. If you need to organize yourself, well, I, I don't think the gift needs to be a gun one. Just give them an organizer because you can get them for half the price Yeah, for the same one. A long time ago, I bought one of these for a desk and uh, I hated it. I ended up just throwing it away. It charged. It had some charging devices on it and you could charge some stuff with it and I didn't like it. Um, but for nightstand, I don't know. I kind of already have my nightstand stuff set up. If it's real wood, it's going to be a little bit higher, um, and, and if you also get me that gun with it, it's going to be a little bit higher, but 380 is a, a really good... Another thing is, what if this doesn't match your wood? If it, if it doesn't match the, the color of the rest of my house, yeah, that's also a little bit of an issue. I I don't know, man. If, if it clashes super bad, it's it's not that great of a gift. What was your final verdict? 380. 380? Yeah. Oh, same with me? Same with you. Oh! I thought, it was, gonna, I thought it was going to be 22. We're on even grounds. I thought it was going to be 22 when we first clicked it. But it actually impressed but me a little bit. It, an organizer is still good to give somebody. So, yeah. you know, the only reason why I rated it so low, because I feel like, like I said, if you're not going to put your gun on it, then you just need to get an organizer. Yep. Save that money. On to next. All right. For this one, we have a 32 gigabyte metal gun shape USB flash drive. I immediately think it's pretty cool. For a flash drive that you are going to put on your keychain, Pretty cool, it's got a place for it. And uh, and if you're into revolvers, might be a really uh, right, be a really good option. If they have any handguns, you know, if you can find your gun in anything and it's a miniature of that gun, I think it's pretty cool. I think, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it first. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and rate and it first. Remember, it's $9.99. $9.99. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with a 22. It's trash, respectfully. Okay, first and foremost, you, unless you have something like really important or secretive that you want to have on a, a USB drive, most people don't use as USB drives. Most people don't, I mean, they have like out, iCloud storages and mm -hmm. stuff like that nowadays. I mean, if you just have like some kind of personal, like if you have a vault of money uh, or something like that and you just have like codes or something and you want it on a flash drive, okay, cool. I think the only real aspect that would be cool as a gift is if you find your gun yeah it's always cool to find your mini gun to just have that you're able to actually you know play with and show around but i do feel like a flash drive one is kind of pointless so for me personally 22 okay um i love the concept and if i needed a flash drive i would want this one but I don't use flash drives for anything. So for me, it just, it would be, I would put it somewhere and yeah. look at it, but I would probably never use it because um, I just don't use them. I know a lot of people still use flash drives though. So if it's a, if someone likes guns and needs to hold that storage, and I know tons of people that store like pictures on flash drives, yeah. get them this, this is yeah. cool. But for me, I would never use it as its intended purpose. I would feel like it was kind of a waste of money um, cause I'm not going to use it as a flash drive, but it is a cool setup as far as flash drive goal. I don't know a cooler one. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you also, you, you kind of got to know if the person uses a flash drive. Or not. Right. So if you don't know that if you, they use a flash drive, you don't want to be buying it. I mean, I, I know it's on $10. It's a gamble that you might want to take. Yeah. But I think, uh, nobody uses flash drives really. Yeah. Unless you know they do. Yep. To the next one. All right, we're going to do a couple more of them before we get this video ended. We are doing, we're looking at the Personalized Universe Authentic Personal Cal Ammo Box. 
I don't know why I read it like that. They're probably like, dude, you just like messed that up, whole thing up. But uh, it's a personalized a ammo box. Right. First of all, typically every gun owner is going to have an ammo crate. Mm -hmm. So I just want to start off with saying, let's see what the price is. $36.99. For a 30 cal can. For the 41. Yeah, basically 42 bucks for a 50 cal can. Um, So first and foremost... I don't know how I feel about the price, but I also love the gift. You can put whatever you want in it, but the fact that you can put like how this says property of T Anderson, I love it. I love it. A gun guy, they always take their gun crates to the range and it's a cool thing to show off. Like, yeah, you, it's labeled property of me. Like it's, it's, it's one of those cool stamps if, on if, it. Again, if they own a business. Mm -hmm. Put their business logo on it. Yeah. People people with businesses love their logo to be on everything. Yeah. And if it's at their house, they're going to be like, yes, on that business. Or if they have like a, a favorite saying, you know, you might have something uh, with your son or daughter who collects guns and y'all have a saying y'all say to each other, put that on it. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Now, you are paying for the personalization. That, yep. That's all you're paying for because you can really get these crates for like 15 bucks, mm -hmm. honestly. So you if, are paying for it. If you're creative enough, you could probably get like a stencil, make a stencil yourself, spray paint it, and it's a metal can, so it's gonna be essentially the same thing. But if you're not a creative person, uh, or even if you are, but you don't wanna do it, this is a great starter. And again, you can put anything in these ammo cans. It doesn't just have to have ammo. Yeah. Um, so even You can for, actually put ammo in it, or yeah, like <laughs> you say, <laughs> anything. So if you even don't have a, uh, a gun person, this is not a bad, uh, uh, gift i got a friend who collects ammo cans mm -hmm. she doesn't own any guns yeah and uh she just puts all kinds of stuff like personal documents and everything because they're lockable so she I, likes that aspect. I, and I, I think another thing that's cool about this other than the fact that you can put their name on it mm -hmm. you put their christmas gift in it yeah exactly multi-purpose yeah if you have two gifts so you know Get them that 50 cal that shoots those things yeah. I, I really like that one but <laughs> so, so i'm gonna go ahead and rate it it's probably gonna be a little bit lower than you think. It's gonna be a nine millimeter. Mm -hmm. The only reason why it's gonna be a nine millimeter, because in my opinion, you're paying a lot for a box, basically. Yeah, yeah where you can get these things for 12 to $20 most places. Um, I love the idea. I think it's really And if cool someone idea. gave me one with like triggered easily on it, mm -hmm. it would be a little bit higher up there. But I agree, nine mil is probably where I'd put this overall. Yeah. Um, and that's a three out of five, y'all. Yeah, three out of five. So it's it's not a bad gift. It's an awesome gift. It's yeah. just I think there's better gifts for gun people. Yeah. Someone might rate this way higher than me, but and I think I think the biggest thing for me, say if this was twenty dollars, I'd be like all day. Great, great all gift. Day. It's like $5 more mm -hmm. than what you can get ammo can for and fully customized. The price is the only thing I want y'all to know that kind of put this down. If it wasn't so much, then it would have probably ranked higher. But Or if they had something inside the box. Like, give me this little bottle opener down there. Like, right. That's going to make it higher. That's going to even add more to the gift. But, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it for that one. I think we covered pretty much everything. Yep, we both gave that three out of five. On to the next one. All right, y'all, and we are on to the final one. As you can see, the MacBook is closed. This isn't one on Amazon, but you can find some technically some of them on Amazon. But yeah, maybe. Um, so this would be the biggest one for me. Find out what gun they have and buy them extra mags for it. Extra mag can't go wrong with extra mags. Doesn't matter how many mags you got, you, you always have too many. Yeah. Um, a lot of times we train with some, we keep some in storage. It's always nice to have a fresh mag um, that you haven't used before. Um, and then you can, you know, keep it in storage or you can use it. Uh, I do a lot of training and stuff. So um, yeah. it's nice to go ahead and load up four or five mags. Yeah. Go ahead and plop them in and out of the gun. Makes the video quicker. And but even when I was shooting before videos, made it Where quicker. did this bubble come from? I have no clue. Anyway, <laughs> that was kind of weird. But anyway... It doesn't. It honestly doesn't even matter uh, if you think they have too many mags because it's just due to the fact that okay, the convenience of it. Go to the right. range. You shoot mags quick. Having those extra mags, even if, even if it's just something as simple as you don't want to load uh, load it up again when you leave. A big one for me is when we go out to the range and we have our regular weapons with our hollow uh, points in there. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys already know or what, but when you go to the range, your personal gun typically has hollow points. You don't want to shoot those. Those are your self-defense uh, guns. You do want to test them, make sure they work. They but shoot out your gun, but mainly you're gonna be shooting after you already know FMJs. they shoot. Right. So um, you every time you have to you know drop the mag and take out your bullets because you don't want to shoot those. You want to shoot with your F and J's target practice rounds. Having extra mags that you can actually just take those out and not have to worry about touching it and just playing mags, you know, that's it's always a good thing to have. Yeah, and, and um, they range in prices too. So yeah. some guns like Glock, Smith & Wesson, because they're so popular, you can find those mags for 20 bucks, sometimes even a little bit less. Um, now, very specific mags, maybe up in the 40, 50, 60 uh, dollar range or maybe even higher than that so for um for this one i'm gonna rate it a 44 mag uh i'm gonna go ahead and give it a 44 mag because it's one of those things you can't go wrong yeah there's there's not a every gun guy needs more mags yeah you can have a hundred glock 19 mags and you need 10 more right <laughs> so i'm not gonna use the need word as him but it is not a bad. It's, it's not bad to have extra mags. And there's really, there's to me, there's no going wrong with mags. Mm -hmm. Plus, if someone knows you well enough to know what they, what you carry, mm -hmm. they know you. Right. So that that's like a really personal thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a perfect way to end it off. End it off at the highest rating. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll see you on the next one. Maybe we'll yeah. do another one oh, before. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So th as you guys see, this one we went to Amazon. You might have another site that you want us to go on. Please don't say Timu, but you might, you might <laughs> want us to review it on like a Glock shop or, you know, have a different outlets that you want us to shop on. We haven't been looking at anything else other than Amazon. Of course, we just decided to do this video because we thought it would be a great idea. Christmas coming up. Yep. And Perfect. everyone can order from Amazon. Yeah, everyone can order from Amazon. They have like two day shipping and stuff. And you actually want to go ahead and hurry up and order on Amazon typically. You know, it's trustworthy. So... That's why we did this. But if you have other sites or you want us to uh, put up other stuff, you have gift ideas that you want us to uh, tell our feelings on it before you get it, hey, let us know. We'll come out, we'll drop a video, and we'll get it to you the next day. I'm sure we missed a million different gifts. A million you guys. different gifts. We're so on Amazon. Please uh, put that down in the comments because I would love to rate you got your guys' gift ideas. Yeah. So yeah, uh, also if you guys follow us on social media like Instagram or whatever and you want to take a picture of your gift and you want us to rate them, we'll do that as well. That would be an excellent, like I would love if there was enough people. If we yeah. had 10 or more people doing that. Yeah, like rate, rate, our, rate our gift. Yeah, I would, definitely do it. I would love it. Oh yeah. We'll do the same, you know, 22 to 44 mag. Right, right. <laughs> and then like, like of course we said, Amazon doesn't sell everything for guns. Amazon actually doesn't sell a lot of stuff for guns. There's sites. Like uh, extra mags, of course, certain optics and stuff that you can put on a gun that Amazon just doesn't sell, which is good. And we also did this with a budget in mind, right? Yeah. Like less than $100 because obviously there's better gifts out there. Less than $50, actually. I don't think anything went over $50. Yeah, me either. Yeah. So uh, there's a ton we're, of we're really we're really budget minded. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, y'all. We didn't click anything like safes and stuff because they were so expensive. Safes, there's sites for the gun, uh, Hollow Suns and uh, other other site companies. Mm -hmm. There's uh, lights, lights, yeah, lights, stuff. tons of lights. So all of that stuff would be great gifts yeah, yeah. too. But Christmas is not here. We yeah. got a lot of time. We got a lot of more video ideas. Just let us know what y'all want to see, and we'll come out here, bust out a video, and get it out to you guys. All right, see you on the next one. Trick it easily.